Hello everyone, this is Sheena Kumawat and I have got the solution of some extraordinary problems for you. First of all, we have a problem of a LA and ladders. In this pro problem, we have an LA whose walls are not vertical, but though they are not vertical, they are parallel to one another. In this LA, we have placed two ladders intersecting each other in this way. The distance between the top of first ladder and the top of second ladder is given to be 5 cm. The distance between the top of second ladder and the intersection point of both the ladders is given to be 4 cm. And the distance between the intersection of both the ladders and the ground is set to be x and we have to find x. So for solving this problem, first of all we mark the points to be A, B, C, D, and E. Now we draw a line OP which is parallel to the ground and passes through E. We are going to use the concepts of similarity for solving this question. So we'll, took a, uh, we'll take a look at triangle AOE and triangle DEC. This triangle and this triangle. We see that because line AB is parallel to line CD, therefore this angle BAC is equal to angle BCE. Angle BAE is equal to angle BCE as they form pair of alternate interior angles. Now, as OP and AC are straight lines, therefore angle AEO is equal to angle PEC as they form pair of vertically opposite angle. AEO is equal to angle PEC because vertically opposite angles. Therefore, by angle-angle criteria of similarity, triangle AOE is similar to triangle CEO, CEP. Now, as we know when triangles are similar, the ratios of their sides come out equal to the ratios of their corresponding altitudes. So, the ratio of side OE by the ratio of side EP would be equal to the altitude of the first triangle that is 4 plus 5 9 by the altitude of second triangle that is x. Now this is our equation number 1. Now we'll take a look on the next pair of triangles that is triangle BOE and triangle PDE. In triangle BOE and triangle PDE angle OBE will be equal to angle PDE as they form pair of alternate interior angles because side AB is parallel to side CD and angle BEO is equal to angle PED vertically opposite angles so we can say a triangle BEO is similar to triangle DEP by AA criteria of similarity. Now same as above, we'll write the ratios of side equal to the ratios of their corresponding altitudes. Therefore, OE by EP would be equal to the altitude of first triangle that is X and the altitude of second triangle that is 4. This forms our equation second. Now we see that the left hand side part of both the equations are equal. So we can compare both the equations and in comparing both the equations we get 9 by x equals to x by 4. On cross multiplying we will get x square is equal to 36 and x is equal to 6 cm. So the height of the intersection points of both the ladders to the ground comes out to be 6 cm. Now we'll take our second problem. Our second problem is related to trapezium. 
A trapezium is a quadrilateral whose one pair of sides, opposite side is parallel. So in this problem we have a trapezium ABCD in which side AB is parallel to CD. A, B, C, D and which side A, B is parallel to C, D. In this trapezium, we join the diagonals B, D and A, D, A, C. So this area is marked as area P and this area is marked as area Q. Now the problem is we have to find the area of complete trapezium in terms of area P and Q, in terms of P and Q. So for solving the problem, we mark the intersection point as O we take the length DO equals M and length OB equals to N. So this is M and N. For simplicity, we mark the area AOD equals to S and area BOC equals to R. Now we know that triangle ADC and triangle BDC are triangles between same parallel lines and having same base. And we know that triangles between same parallel lines and having same base are equal in area. So area of triangle ADC would be equal to area of triangle BDC. Now this triangle ADC is formed by joining two areas that is S and Q. So S plus Q would be equal to area of triangle BDC and area of triangle BDC is formed by joining areas R and Q. R plus Q. As Q comes in both the sides, so we can cancel Q by Q. So from here we get S is equal to R. That is area S is equal to area R. This is our first equation. Now we see in triangle ADB. Line segment AO bisects the opposite side in the ratio M is to N. Therefore, this will also bisect the area in the ratio M is to N. So in triangle ADB, area of triangle ADO by area of triangle AOB will be equal to M by N. And area of triangle ADO is S and area of triangle ABO is P. So from here we know that S by P is M by N. This is our equation second. Similarly, in triangle BDC, we can see that area, that area Q by R will come out to be M by N. So Q by R will be equal to M by N. This is our second equation, third equation. We can compare second and third equation and from here we'll get S by P is equal to Q by R. From our first equation we know that S is equal to R. So we can replace S by R in this equation. So this equation will turn out to be R by P. R by P is equal to Q by R and cro on cross multiplying we will get R square is equal to QP and R equals to root of QP. This is our equation fourth. Now we know that the area of trapezium is formed by adding the areas P, Q, R and S. So for finding the area of trapezium, we'll add all the four areas, that is area P plus Q plus R plus S. This is our area of trapezium. Now, we have from equation 4, we have R is equal to root of QP. And from our equation first, we have S is equal to R. So in this we can write root of QP in place of S. On simplifying we get P plus Q is equal to 2 root QP. Now we know the identity A square A plus B whole square. This identity is solved as A square plus B square plus 2AB. Now suppose I write A is equal to root of P 
and b is equal to root of q then this identity will be expanded as root of p plus root of q plus 2 root root of p ka square plus root of q ka square plus 2 root pq this is similar to this part so we can replace this part by root p plus root q ka whole square so this can be simplified to root p plus root q whole square and this is our answer.